too many people about the video properly, but I've just noticed, I've been aware of this hole here for years, this hole. It actually leads outside. On the other side of there, there's a type of entrance, uh, like a cave entrance. I've just spotted it. It's um, always been covered up with ivy before. And there's a, it's a bigger entrance on the other side. I mean, I don't think uh, anyone could really... It's under here. And it's down, it's down there below here. There's like an entrance that joins up with this system here. Right under my feet, under this tree, there's like an entrance. I'll have to explore that at some point. From down there, I've noticed some cut, cut branches. It's quite elaborate, actually. It must have been built by the Iron Age people or somebody. So it's, it's, a, it's a definite entrance down there. You can see how the slabs are arranged and everything. And there's a way in there. But they've just reached about here where they're cutting. I might actually walk around that way in a minute, actually. Yeah, this is where I found the brown Bristol United bottle with its stopper still in it a couple of weeks back. There's a lot of people about. Yeah, it was round here I found that. But so I might go down that way. There's some few daffodils. People have planted over the years and primroses here, but there's an awful lot of people out. Awful lot of people. It's a nice wood. Maybe people feel safer. Children enjoying the wood. Like I say, just over there, there's some um, little, little bouquet, little nest of. Primroses have probably been coming there for years. There, see? And a bit further over, we've got some daffodils. Yeah, daffodils. So this is the, this is, the, it all looks very bleak, the trees here, you know. They actually look dead. I know it's still early, but I just wondered if they're ever, if they're going to flower this year, if they're going to be allowed to. This is the main clearing that's been here for yonks. All the time people are cutting stuff down all the time now. I'm, pro I'm probably going to go back down. Right? I'm going to go back down that way. Actually, home. <sighs> I'll go back that way by Burnbet Pier, <sighs> rather than walk up through the wood like I normally do. I'm going to turn off up here further. Yeah, they all look very uninhabited. Uninhabited. Over and out, everyone. I'm going to turn off for a minute. All right. Looks like it might rain any minute. There's a little group of gang of boys over there in that little makeshift hut I seen them, somebody make a den a couple of weeks back. They're in the, one of the um, Valums, if you like, ditch areas. And uh, they're all drinking, they've got a little fire going. Um, they're out of the way, I suppose. Probably smoking dope. Um, this is this will attract gang, people up here doing that sort of thing. Um, once you start providing them with wood for their fires, because that's the other thing that's going to happen. This place will catch fire. It'd be like a tinderbox. And the thing is, the council won't care, will they? If it strips the trees back, 
they'd probably encourage them to have fires. You're not supposed to, but I don't put anything past this group of councillors we've got at the moment. They go down in history as the people that destroy trees and they'll be cursed. They will be cursed. The spirits of the trees will get them and follow them everywhere they go. All these people, a lot of them are innocent, mind. They just thought they'd join a group of people, you know, as a bit of social interaction. And uh, basically what will happen is um, they'll get caught up in it. They're not supposed to be doing anything during the lockdown, but they have been. They've done loads during lockdown. Right. I'm not going that way. I normally go up there. I'm going back down this way. And I might branch off in a minute nearer to where that entrance to the side of the hill is. And I can also see what how far they've got down this way by coming down it. So, I mean, those boys up there, they're sort of like my grandson's age now, you know, that's what they do. There's nowhere for them to go, is there? There's no football or anything. There's no... Kids make their own amusement like we had to when we were young. Built our own dens, made fires... I keep feeling spots of rain. I don't intend to stay out now. I'm going. I'm leaving the wood, basically. I'm going back down towards Burnbeck Pier, end of town, and I shall walk home. It's just a courtesy visit, really. It's a courtesy visit to um, just keep an eye on, see what's happening. It's very grey today. It was very, very sunny when I first got up this morning. I got my washing out, so that'll be getting wet, but I've left the windows open. It partly protects them. I hang my washing out, out the window, you see, on, on um, these special things I've got. You peg them to it and you, it hooks onto your window frame. But, you know, if they get wet, they get wet. They're having a good bit of air. That's the main thing. Yeah, so here's the north side, um, a natural defence, this side, so you haven't got sort of many ditches of alums. There is a, a plateaued bit along there, which I partly followed the other week. There's some horses coming now at the gallop, I'll have to get out the way. I haven't seen horses up here for ages, actually. I've seen horses here for bloody ages. I'm videoing them. Right, let's get over there out the way and they can go by. That's it. Hiya! Oh, lovely. I remember when I used to do that. Yeah, that's all right, Dev. God, that's the first time I've seen horses up here for ages. But what I'm looking out for now is the way in a bit. I might go there, I might not. You have got to go uphill a bit. It's not yet, anyway. It's a bit further up. There's the Scottish trees, the tall trees that stand out on the um, clearing area. So it's up a bit from the clearing area. I don't think they well they have done more chopping that looks fresh there yeah they've, they've done a lot they've done a lot I mean some of this is what you call maintenance mind what they've done here but there's the trees that they usually have a sign on them saying protect the ancient monument and all that and then somewhere up there, in a minute, will be that entrance. I don't know whether I'm going to do it or not. It's not far now, because this is the area where I could see some chopping had been done. Now, they were chopping all the way down to the bench. 
So what I can see now might still be the same as what it was that they've taken it off. I think they, they used to have it stacked up on the path. See, it could be up there, that entrance. Could be up there. It's hard to tell now. Yeah, it could be. I reckon it's up through there. Yeah, I reckon that's where it is. Up through there. Up there somewhere. Not easy to get to. Yeah, I'm going to turn off now, folks, anyway. I'll be walking down. Yeah, somewhere around here there's that entrance into the hill fort. Coming up now, I think. Hopefully they are going to leave some of these bushes now the birds are nesting. There's another like one of those trees there, look. I only really noticed that one the other week. Very similar to that, those other ones up there. Right, over and out everyone.